Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel and welcome to this week's new shopping haul video. Today I've been to Aldi and I've been to a new shop that just took, well it actually opened this morning when I got there, called One Above. Um, no sorry, One Beyond. <laughs> um, yeah, so I got some really good bits and bobs from there. Uh, in Aldi I spent £49.29. and pence. And in One Beyond, I spent fifteen pounds and four pence. But I got loads of little stocking fillers and you know just some bits that I've been looking for for a while. So I'm really pleased with that. Um, as always, I will start with the Aldi bits and then we'll go over to the One Beyond. So as always, I got some eggs, six free range eggs, one thirty five. Um, I got some pitters, like I've mentioned nearly every week. That's the only thing I have now. I don't buy bread anymore. 55, no, 50 pence, sorry, these be 55. I got some ginger nuts because my mum requested them when she came last week. She was like, have you got any ginger nuts? So she could have that with a cup of tea. They were 59 pence. Tortilla chips, 57 pence. We just snack on them through the weekend sometimes. I got some pancakes, 49 pence. They're mainly for when the kids come, but, you know, we might have them now and again. The baking potatoes are still on the Super 6. They were 49 pence. Um, I did use them all last week, and I really enjoyed it, actually. So, yeah, I got some more. Spring onions, uh, 50 pence still. These are for the kids. I'm going to a bonfire this weekend at my brother's house. So I've got these just for the kids to have because they're individually wrapped. So it's easier just to hand them out. They're 75 pence for five. I thought I'd get a romaine lettuce this week for a bit of a change. That was £1.9 actually. So it wasn't too cheap, but it's really big and you get two. So I didn't mind paying that. Apologies for the nails, guys. Literally after I film this video, I'm going to get them done. So yeah. Um, I got some mixed peppers. What I do with these is I slice them up and put them in a little container and put them in the freezer and they last me quite a while. I've been doing that because when I used to buy them and leave them fresh, they start going off and you know I wouldn't use them all in time. So I picked this bag up because there's quite a lot of red in there and red is the ones that we prefer. Um, they were £1.49 for five. Then I got Hubby some scotch eggs, £1.9. And I got some ginger. So on Monday, I got all the ginger that I had in the house and I blended it with a bit of water and I put them into an ice cube tray. In fact, I'll show you. Let me just get it out of the freezer. So yeah, this is it. I actually did two of these. I left the other one in. Um, I ended up getting this in TK Maxx in the end and you can just push the bottom, which I thought was really good. Um, so yeah, so I have started having them in the morning, but I do miss a bit of like grated ginger in the bottom of, in the bottom of the you know the mug if that makes sense. So I'm still going to keep having these as shots, but I bought this ginger just to grate and have with hot water if that makes sense. So I could have that as a like a tea, as a drink, and have that as like a ginger shot in the morning. Hope that makes sense. <laughs> anyway, yeah. So like I mentioned, seventy nine pence for that ginger. Then I got these for Romy to try, chicken, beef, and lamb, uh, meaty rolls. They were 69 pence. I think you'll like them because, you know, there's all his favourite flavours in there. Chorizo and salami, as normal, 99 pence each. Now, I got these for the for the children. Um, they were 29 pence each. They were originally, I think they were like 59 or 60 pence before, but because it's after Halloween, they were selling them off, and I thought kids... They don't care, do they? So I'll take them to the bonfire on Saturday and they'll just love munching on them. So 29 pence each in Aldi. Um, this is for Hubby. It was 199 so I was only an army whether to get it for him. Um, but he's looking for like protein based snacks um, when he's doing his like low, low carb sort of eating plan. So I got these. I thought you could just snack on these. I know they're not the best for you, um, but he doesn't do his you know, like to this extent of low carbs for that long. So I just thought for while he's doing it, you know, the sort of six to eight weeks, he can just have these as a little snack. So that was one ninety nine. I got this as well. Um, I'll use it in dishes and again, he can just snack on it. 
198 mild Spanish chorizo ring. I got a Swede. This was 62 pence. I'm going to do a slow cooker recipe. Um, I might do it on Sunday, actually. I'm not well. We're going to go to the butcher tomorrow. Um, and depending on what pack we get from them, I might do a beef stew in the slow cooker on Sunday. And I'm going to put this Swede in. That was 62 pence. White cabbage, 75 pence. I've been using like one a week for the past few weeks. They're really good for stir fries. Um, and like I'll put a bit in the, the slow cooker stew as well. So yeah, I've got a white cabbage. Some mozzarella, 199. I got the thick, um, sort of, is it tango? Not tango. Is it tango? I think it is, yeah. The oh, Fanta, that's it. The, the twisted fruit, um, owl diversion, that was 79 pence. 55 pence for garlic granules because I was running out. And set 89 pence for the chicken seasoning. I got a big milk, 145. Um, and then some natural yogurt that I'm gonna have Greek style with I've got quite a lot of apples in, so I'm gonna have that with apples and a bit of honey for desserts this week. That was 89 pence. And some chopped tomatoes down there, 35 pence. 225 for chicken legs. They didn't have any um wings this week. So hubby's gonna have to substitute them for drummers. They were really good actually. Two pounds seventy nine, and you get two kilo in there. So yeah, I'll take a few out, freeze them. We'll have them for like meals at night, and then he can have some for his lunches. And um, what else did we get? Oh, I got these. Um, so on Christmas Day, we do me and hubby do like a continental breakfast. So we'll have like croissant, um, you know, waffle, that kind of thing. Um, and we, I always get as a little panettone each. So we like the mini um, chocolate one, mini chocolate chip one. So I thought I'll get them now. So I've got them in. Um, they're £1.35 each. So I didn't think that was too bad. And the date's quite good. Can't see it on there, but I'm pretty sure. Yeah, it's till May. So they'll definitely last until Christmas. So I got us two of them. Whoops. Sorry, guys. That was just one of the aftershaves falling off. <laughs> Um, some more fish fingers. I love them. I have them for lunches. Hubby sometimes has them um, now and again. £1.69, which has come, you know, the price has come down, so that's good. And you get 15 in there. The battered fish, which I really like from Aldi, £2.35. You get four fillets. Um, £2.19, they had my lean beef steak mince back in. Um, I got the normal, was it like 20% fat when I got last week? And it was quite nice actually, but I thought I'm not going to get used to it because obviously this one's a lot better for you because the fat content's lower. So yeah, I picked it up when I saw it. Hubby's prawns, you'll have them one night this week. Um, one ninety nine for them. I probably do them with like some peppers, um, onions, garlic, a bit of sliced up cabbage. So a bit of like a prawn stir fry. If that makes sense. Um, yeah, so I got them. These are actually from Tesco. They're the only things that I got. I think the deal runs out, I'm sure it said the 7th, um, so I picked up two packets. They're £2.30 without the club card and £1.85 with. So they're just the chicken sausages, the Richmond, they are our favourites at the moment. So yeah, I picked them up. Uh, £1.55 for the chicken dippers, one thirty nine for the goujons. I did change and get breaded this week instead of southern fried. Um, I thought I'd just give it a, you know... A change and see what they're like just going to check my receipt to see how much the um gravy grind well the gravy cubes were i'm sure last time i got them they were about 60 pence but when i saw them today i thought oh they've gone up they were i'm lying they're 65 pence <laughs> which is really good uh, and then I got this from Aldi. It's a shampoo that I've, I've used for so long now. It used to be 79 pence. It's now £1.19. But they've got my hook, line and sinker. So I continue buying it. Um, it's just a thickening one. It smells gorgeous. And yeah, that's the one that I like to use now. It's got some loo roll at the back, £1.79. And then I got this spaghetti for the food bank. This was 28 pence. I'm pretty sure I picked up some bourbons for the food bank, but I don't know how I, I can't see them, so I'll have to go through the bags and check um to find them. Anyway, that was everything from Aldi. Like I say, we're going to the butcher tomorrow, so that's why I didn't get much meat. 
because we're going to do our monthly um stock up there moving on to one beyond um i just well it opened this morning when i came out of aldi i got in the car and i saw like a big crowd like queuing up so i checked online and it opened at 10 and this was about i think it was like 9 50 so i thought i'll hang on do you know what i mean and i'll go i'll just have a browse i didn't plan on getting anything 15 pounds later here we are <laughs> Anyway, I got some good bits and bobs. I got this for Romy to put away for Christmas. I'm not going to squeak it because he's outside the kitchen door. I can hear him. Um, but it's quite big, actually, like the size of my hand. It's a donut, a squeaky dog toy donut. That was one twenty nine, which I thought was brill. I got these for my sister as a little stocking filler because she loves her fluffy socks. And I thought these were really cute. Um, they were one twenty five, which I thought was amazing. So that's a little stocking filler for her. I got this for my sister in law. Um, again, as a little stocking filler for her. Her star sign is Aries. I did have to go online and check in the shop, like what it would be. You know, the date of her birthday. Um, and the, luckily they did have have this in. So I thought she'll love that because she does um she does nails so she you know she works for herself doing them so i thought this little notebook might come in handy writing down i don't know little customer bits um then i got hubby some soap he likes his palm olive you got three for 150 which i think is the going rate everywhere now so i picked that up i got myself a dove they only had the singular bars and they were 79 pence but i didn't think that was too bad so yeah i picked one up for me this is for my brother-in-law. It's just the, um, it's like a copy of, is it one million? I think it's one million, the aftershave. Yeah, so he doesn't mind like getting these little copies of stocking fillers, like so he can wear it to work and stuff. Um, you know, instead of like using the expensive one all the time. So that was 150, so I thought that was brill. I hope it's not broken because it did fall off the back of the um, fish fingers, but yeah, I'm sure it'll be fine. This is for my niece, a little stocking filler. She absolutely loves Barbie. Um, I went with her this year to watch the Barbie film and yeah, she was just obsessed. So this is three little lip glosses, which I think she'll love because she's, now let me think, is she 10? I keep thinking, is she 10 or 11? Yeah, she's 10, <laughs> um, 11 next year. So yeah, that'll be perfect for her. Just a little Barbie um, lip gloss set. That was two pounds, which I didn't think was bad because obviously it's Barbie, so it's branded, and you do get three lip glosses in there. Then I got these because I've got um two Christmas trees, and the upstairs one last year was fine, but I thought because what I did is all the new decorations seem to go on the main tree downstairs, and then the ones that I've had for years, like you know that I don't put on the main tree, I've been putting on the second tree that I have upstairs, and they're nice, but. I thought some of them were looking a bit tired, so this year I'm going to have getting new ones for the upstairs tree. So yeah, these were a pound, so they work out 50 pence each, and I think they're so cute. They're like little sweets, so yeah, I got them for that tree. I got this for my sister as another little stocking filler. She loves the Epsom salt bath, and this one is chamomile and jasmine. And yeah, that was a pound, which I thought was good because they're a bit more expensive now, the the Epsom salts. Um, so yeah, that's a little stocking filler for her. I'm just trying to get like as many as I can, guys, because I'm very aware that it's November now and I feel like I'm behind this year. Usually I'm nearly done, like the beginning of November, and I feel like I'm nowhere near. So yeah, I'm trying to get as much as I can when I see it. I got this for my nephew. Um, it's a little bow and arrow. He can play with it in the house. He's a proper boy's boy. Um, so he'll love this. And it was one twenty nine, which I thought was amazing. So that could be a little stocking filler for him. Hopefully he doesn't fire them at his sister, but we'll, <laughs> we'll tell him not to. We'll make sure he doesn't. And then lastly, this is my like deal of the day. I've been looking for one of these to go by the front door for so long. Um, I saw one in, I think it was Dunelms, and it was like nearly £10 in home bargains they used to be 4 .99, and then i thought i'll wait and i'll put some money you know into like the house because i've got separate funds for stuff into like the housey bits fund and then i'll go get it I went to go get it it had gone up to i think it was 5.99 or 6.99 so i was holding off i thought i'll have a look online first and if not i'll go back and get the home bargains one i'm so glad i did hold off because i got this today in one beyond and it's 
solid wood. I'm going to paint it, so I'm going to paint it grey. Um, and there's no like kind of varnish on it, so the paint will just go on easily. And it was one pound fifty. Like seriously, how do they do it for that price? I have no idea. So yeah, I was really pleased with that. Um, hubby's going to put it up for me by the front door, and our coats can come off the bottom because at the moment they're on the bottom of the stairs. You know, like the the bit that kind of stands like that. We hook them on, and it annoys me. Like it annoys the life out of me. So I thought if I get my little coat um hooks up, it'll solve that problem. So yeah, one fifty. That was a bargain. Anyway, guys, that's everything for this week. We're at 15 and a half minutes already. I'm sorry if I've chatted your ears off. Um, but yeah, as always, thank you so much for watching. I appreciate each and every one of you. Um, you know, thank you for the love, the comments, the likes. And hopefully I'll be back next week with another haul. And I'm planning to get some more little stocking fillers. We'll see how we go. And I'll feel like I'm a bit more ready for Christmas. But yeah, until then, I hope you have a great day. Um, this video is like a week in ad well a week is it behind well yeah I'm filming it a week in advance so yeah it's bonfire weekend this weekend so I hope everybody had a lovely safe bonfire weekend and I'll be back next week with another haul